Hello everybody, it's your boy Dane Reads. It's currently Tuesday the 8th of June 2021. I'm fucking exhausted, doing way too much work, not getting a mortgage, all the usual shit. Currently reading The Queen's Gambit by Walter Tevis, it's very good. Review coming soon, although I don't have too much to tab, too much tabbed out to tell you about. Dane Reads. And that's where I'm at, and now I'm gonna go and do some more work. Oh, hello, it is Thursday the 10th of June, uh, about, what, half three? Uh, I haven't really slept. I did sleep from like uh, 8 p.m. till 1 a.m. last night, and then I tried to go to bed earlier and it didn't work. So earlier today, uh, I, I, um, oh, well, I should get to me feeling like death first. That's the first thing to talk about, because that's why I'm quite distracted. Because I feel fucking terrible. So I get a lot of stomach aches. I have IBS um, and it may be TMI. But yes, that's been going on. Real bad stomach aches. So that's why I was in bed at eight yesterday because my stomach ache was just so bad. I, like, I just had to lie down. Um, and that's probably what I should do now, to be honest, except it's worse than it was last night. So if I lie down, I'm not getting any sleep, man. I can't sleep when I'm in this much pain. So um, I'm just trying to crack on and be productive. I mean, a lot of it is stress related as well, but it's just with the physical symptoms. That's what triggers my anxiety because I get convinced that I'm dying basically, uh, especially because it's getting worse at the moment. Like it's probably the worst it's ever been in terms of the amount of pain and stuff I'm in. Um, like at the moment it's kind of hard to breathe because I'm, I'm in so much pain, so that's not good. But yes, I'm just doing my thing. So I went into town earlier, I spoke to my mortgage guy, so we've managed to get a mortgage application in. Um, so I should, I should find out pretty soon, like by Monday or Tuesday of next week, I should know if I've been rejected for it or not. And then we're talking, they reckon about 11 to 15 business days before I find out and get an official offer and stuff. Um, but the guy is pretty convinced that I will get accepted. But if not, I'd pay him 500 quid for nothing. So fingers crossed it goes through. This is actually a mortgage guy that Emma from Emma Rose and Books has recommended. So we'll see how that goes. I'm so behind in my vlogs I can say this because I'm not going to post this before it actually happens. But if this guy does do the goods for me, then I'm going to send Emma some flowers in the post to say thank you as well. So she might have... They, I mean, if... She, they're probably dead by the time you're watching this, if they even did go through, if I got my mortgage. Um, reading wise, so I finished reading The Queen's Gambit by Walter Tevis. I gave it a five out of five, mate. It was really good. Um, it was a really good adaptation of it as well. The only problem is, if you've seen the Netflix series, there's almost no problem reading, no point reading the book, because the book is, the adaptation is so accurate to the book. Like they pretty much did it page for page. Um, like all the lines of dialogue the same, all the plot beats the same. Um, but I did really enjoy Tevis's writing style as well, so that was good. And it was kind of interesting to be able to see inside Beth's head as she's like making these moves. So that was good. I'm now reading The Hugo Winners 1968 to 1970, edited by Isaac Asimov. Uh, I previously read volume one, so this is volume two, but we have some crackers in this. So I've read uh, Weir Search by Anne McCaffrey, uh, which is one of her Pern books. Uh, which I've heard of, but I've never read any of the Pern books before. We have Riders of the Purple Wage, which I'm currently reading at the moment by Philip Jose Farmer. And this is quite like experimental almost in the language it's using. I found quite a lot to tab out, like for example, a quote down here. There are universes begging for gods, yet he hangs around this one looking for work. The other ones we've got in this, we've got Gonna Roll the Bones by Fritz Leiber. I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream by Harlan Ellison, which is obviously a very famous short story. We have Night Wings by Robert Silverberg, The Sharing of Flesh by Paul Anderson, The Beast That Shouted Love at the Heart of the World by Harlan Ellison, and Time Considered as a Helix of Semi-Precious Stones by Samuel R. Delaney. So some pretty good authors. I would say in this book uh, there are more authors than interested me in the first one, so that's good. But yes, it's just alright at the moment. Probably, yeah, stronger, well no, just an average 3.5 out of 5 at the moment. But I'm only two stories in, so we'll see what I make of I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. So that's where we're at. Uh, open mic night at the Art Centre tomorrow. I have changed the strings on my guitar. It will probably be super out of tune. There's a big black line on my TV screen And it seems my cat is an evil fiend Can tell you that I love you, but you're awesome can tell you that I love you, but you're awesome. 
can tell you that I love you, but you're awesome. Can tell you that I love you, but you're awesome. Hello, everybody. <laughs> it is Monday, the 14th of uh, June. Uh, I haven't filmed for a few days because I've been so busy. Uh, okay, house update. Still seems to be going ahead. I need to pay the guy 500 quid for making my application, so we've got to hope that that goes ahead and goes through, but we will see. Uh, books wise, I finished reading Queen's Gambit, 5 out of 5, it was great. I'm going to be reading more Walter Tevis as well. I also read uh, Isaac Asimov, The Hugo Winners, 1968 to 1970, uh, which was okay. It had um, my first trip to Pern with Anne McCaffrey, and also uh, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, or whatever it's called, by Harlan Ellison, which was quite good. To be honest, I thought the concept was better than the actual story itself, but I'm still glad that I've gone ahead and read that. So, uh, yeah. I'm now reading, oh I also read um, a book of poetry, which I don't even know where that is, so I read a book of poetry anyway. Um, and I'm now reading Others by James Herbert, which is a hardback thing, it's like a PI, a PI with like a birth defect, uh, he's invest investigating this weird scandal thing, like, yeah, it's uh, like a kind of conspiracy kind of novel. It's alright, um, not the best to be honest, but you know, I'm, I'm getting through it, I'm about 200 out of 500 pages in. This weekend, so Friday, we had the open mic night at the art centre. It was also my birthday, so I had some nice stuff. One of my colleagues made a cake, got loads of cards. Um, and then, yeah, I played some songs there. The first, song, the first song went a bit tits up because the lead wasn't working, so I was just fully acoustic, apart from my vocals. But hey-ho. Uh, Saturday, we had... Um, we had some music in the garden, so we had a guy playing harp and then we had a classical guitarist. Uh, we opened our art gallery at the art centre and we also had the first day of our big arts market, which is very cool. So uh, I went along to that, uh, ended up doing a bit of work behind the bar and I also had my laptop and was doing a bunch of work on my laptop while we were there. And then yesterday I went on a date in London, so uh, we went to the V&A, which was nice, and had a look at a few things, sat in the sunlight. Went to get some vegan burgers for food, and then we went on a Jack the Ripper walk, like a walking tour, which had never been on before, which was very cool. And I might actually reach out to the guy who led it, because uh, he's also a musician, he's like a heavy metal guitarist, and he's written a book on Jack the Ripper as well, so I might reach out to him and see if he wants to come on my radio show. So... I think that pretty much brings us up to date. My fucking house is a tip, man. I need to do, I've just been so busy with work that I haven't had time to really look after myself. I had a counseling session earlier, so that was all right. I did my homework for that right at the last minute. It's also super hot, I'm boiling. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna crack on with reading others. I need to edit tomorrow's radio show. Uh, I got, as I said, I've got more work to do and I've got a lot of householdy bits and bobs to do as well. And at some point I should probably make some food. Yo, it is, what, what day is it? It's Tuesday the 15th of June. My radio show is just about to air. I didn't finish it until like 5 a.m. this morning. Uh, uploaded it last minute. I'm also a little bit worried about it because the story's kind of edgy and I don't wanna get, if I get any complaints and stuff, it might get canceled. Although I think I filtered out, I filtered out all the swearing from it, but it does like, there's a lot of people smoking joints in it and stuff. But it is set in Amsterdam where it's legal, so who knows. I found out at 2 a.m. last night that I was supposed to be doing scaffolding training at the art centre at 9 a.m. this morning. Obviously, I didn't go to that. I haven't been able to. I've got too much stuff on and too many client meetings. I think I had like four calls scheduled for today. Got a bunch to borrow as well. I'm basically only just keeping up, like keeping on top of art centre stuff. But hey ho, um, I paid my mortgage guy 500, 500 quid today. So that's goodbye 500 quid. Hopefully, this mortgage goes through now. Otherwise, I'm down 500 quid, which is no fun. Um, especially like considering how hard I'm working, that's like a week's, well, most most best part of a week's work there. So, yeah. Um, what else have I got to tell you? I've been reading The Others by James Herbert. I'm nearly finished now. I've got about 80 odd pages to go. We're at the kind of the climactic denouement. Uh, it has got better as well, so it's probably gone for a four out of five. Probably my third favourite James Herbert book so far. Um, I don't want to tell you too much about it because I'll be doing a full review, so keep your eyes peeled for that. I've got a few other bits and bobs to do in a minute. I uh, played some guitar earlier as well. I'm trying to catch up with my filming at the moment, so that then that just leaves me with all my editing to do. At one point, I did have like three weeks worth of videos preloaded and ready to go out, and now we've got like two days worth. Although there are four or five that are uploaded that I just need to format, so I'm going to go do those in a bit as well. Uh, and I'm going to try and catch up with my, uh, with my wrap up as well, so I'm going to go do that now.
Hello everybody, it is later on on Tuesday. Nobody has complained about the radio show yet, so that's good. Although I haven't checked my emails or Slack, so maybe they have and I'm just unaware of it. I finished reading Others by James Herbert, it was a 4 out of 5. I finished doing all of my uh, filming and vlogging etc, so now I just need to crack on with some editing. Probably going to be up all night because I've got an ear infection, so I need to ring the doctor. But you can only get an appointment if you ring first thing in the morning. Um, so that's the only way I'm going to be awake. So I'm probably going to stay up all night, do editing and some working, ring the doctor, Art centre meeting at like half ten, hopefully it doesn't last too long. Um, and then the day will be my own to probably come home and sleep. I already know it's going to make me feel ill, but I don't really know what choice I have. Also, I'm going to start reading my next book now, which is going to be Children of Dune by Frank Herbert. So, I think this is book number three in the Dune series. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I've got most of the remaining Dune books, so I need to sort of make some headway in the series, really. Because I'm getting to the point now, with Others Finished, that puts me on... 39 books currently reading which is great because I want to be sub 40. I do have a bunch more coming that I ordered because I got an Amazon voucher for my birthday so I've got a bunch more coming which are going to push me back over um, but because I'm, my TBR pile is so low now I have a load of both the Foundation series by Asimov and the Dune series so I need to start reading through those um, so I'm going to read this. I've also got Prelude to Foundation coming because um, that technically goes at the start of the Foundation series. And then I have like random books, so I probably have like the first four June books, then number six, eight, nine, and ten or whatever. So uh, yeah, gonna crack on with Children of June. Oh, it's vloggy vlog time. I got my Fitbit back, new purple strap. And it's good because I did 2.5 miles today, so cracking on with my virtual walk, heading for uh, John O'Groats. I get a free t-shirt when I'm done. Speaking of t-shirts, I'm wearing Hedwig. I need a shower. It is the 17th of June, so that is what? Thursday. I think I'm due... So my house valuation is on the 28th of June, so a week on Monday. Um, basically the bank sends somebody along. They're just making sure the house is valued as what we say it's valued at, so that they know if I do default on my loan that they can claim the money back. So I can't foresee there being any problems with that. And all the other stuff seems to be going okay. Uh, I have paid my mortgage guy 500 quid, so that hurt. But hey ho, um, I'm still reading, what is it, Children of June by Frank Herbert, I've got about 100 pages to go. I'm pleased to announce that I understand what's happening, which is something I wasn't too sure about. I uh, had some vinyl in the post today, oh I got this! Biggie for some reason decided to post it, didn't you Biggie? He's sitting behind you on the chair, he, he posted me this Father's Day card, I don't know why he didn't just give it to me, but it says, from the cat on Father's Day, hope it's perfect in every way, love Biggie. And uh, I think, did you get Grandma to help with that biggie? I think he did. So that was nice, I got that in the post. I got these Elvis vinyls and I got some more books to haul as well. Although this does put me back on to, I think I'm on 53 currently reading, maybe 54. And I'm trying to get below 50. And also, I bought a job lot of 30 Isaac Asimov books, but at least 20, maybe even 25 of them, are ones that I've already read. I didn't even realize I'd read that much Asimov. Um, but there are a few in there that I haven't read, and also Asimov books tend to sell quite well anyway, so I think I paid 25 quid or something for 30 bucks, um, and I'll easily make my money back on them, so that's good. And then obviously I get a few extras. And that's all I've got for you, really. Um, I've got some calls to do. I had a call with a new client who works like a, a non-profit for, uh, as an animal sanctuary, which is very cool, so I had a call with them earlier and that went well. Got two calls lined up tomorrow. Saturday we have uh, Music in the Garden, which is an open mic slate takeover. I'm actually playing at it in my band, The Ilk, which would be good. Um, and I know most of the other artists going and the people organising it and stuff. And again, it's at the Art Centre, which is very cool. And that'll coincide with the art gallery we have there. I'll try and take my camera along and do a little mini vlog, actually. Um, so we have all of that. That is all very exciting. Sunday I currently have free. I might be seeing Robin again, who is the person I went on a date with last weekend, which was nice. Um, so yeah, it sort of depends because she's a teacher so it's report type, report writing time for her. So she's not even going to know until like Friday whether she's got any energy. Which actually kind of suits me with like my plans and stuff. So I've got Sunday free. Be nice to see her. If not, I'll crack on and do some overtime so that's all good. Um, and that's all I got for you now. I'm, I'm off to go and read some more Herbert. Um, I did do a lot of editing so I've been catching up on that which is all very cool. I have like six new videos to film or whatever because I had a few to prep and obviously my review of June as well. Um, but yeah, all is in good shape. Oh, I'm very red and slightly out of focus. It'll fix itself. You know what this camera's like. 
I'm slowly getting less red. Anyway, uh, it is me. It is what? It is Sunday, the 20th of June. I'm not feeling my best today, to be honest. I, I didn't sleep very well last night. I, I went to bed at like 4 a.m. I actually fell asleep at like 6, half 6. Uh, and then I slept again this afternoon because I just wasn't feeling too good, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I've got lots of books to update you on, which I'll do in a minute. Uh, life update as well. So let's see, what did I do? Did I do anything on Friday? I don't think I did anything on Friday. I haven't done think anything really all week except Saturday. We had the open mic so late takeover at Wickham Art Centre. So we had live music outside and a bunch of people along to that. A bunch of people I knew as well, which was great. Uh, and actually me and my friend Dave, we performed there with our band The Ilk. So I might pop that footage on YouTube, we'll see. Um, and then in the evening I went to see a play called Legs by Princess Scissors, which was about like body dysmorphia. Um, it had been done at Brighton Fringe and then brought on the road. So they performed at High Wycombe, it was really great. Uh, a bit mental, but great as well. Um, it was basically like, you know, she was covering herself in body pain. It was a retelling of The Little Mermaid as well. Uh, really good stuff. And then after that, we had Victoria Baptiste, who's a local photographer from a company called Flux Photographic. Um, and she's done a campaign called Beauty and the Truth, where she kind of tries to take on like false beauty standards and all that stuff. So she did a talk after the play, and then there was a Q&A at the end. Really good evening, actually. I'm really glad I went along to that. Uh, while I was at uh, Wickham Arts Centre, there's also the big arts market on. So I bought a couple of things including, so I'm currently reading this first one, Hi Wickham and it's People Through My Eyes, a scrapbook of growing up in Wickham by Mark Page. So he's a local photographer. He actually is the guy who took my author photo and the cover that's on my band's album as well, uh, but EP. But yeah, so I bought this from him and got it signed. And I also picked up Psychogran, which is a comic. So I'm gonna read Psychogran next, but those are what I'm currently reading. Uh, High Wickham and It's People Through My Eyes is on, on course for a 4 out of 5, it's really interesting. I finished reading Children of June by Frank Herbert, this was a 4 out of 5 and uh, I'm looking forward to reading more of the June series, sooner rather than later hopefully, I left it too long I think last time, uh, and there's a review of that coming soon. Uh, and then I read a few quick old reads, so I read Five Lou's Dad in the Garden Centre by Br Br Bruno Vincent slash Enid Blyton, so this is one of the Enid Blyton famous five books for adults. As you can tell, it focuses on, uh, they go back to visit their dad and he's accidentally blown up the house through his like Dexter's lab style secret laboratory. So they decide they need to get a shed and they also need a, a new dog bed for uh, Timmy the dog. So they, they go off to Garden Universe and dad gets lost. Uh, probably a week, four out of five. I do really enjoy these books though. I think the sense of humor in them is great. So I would recommend, especially, I mean, I'm filming on Father's Day here in the UK. So it would be a good Father's Day one. Uh, then I read The Vampire Vanishes by Willis Hall, so I used to love these books as a kid um, and these are basically like, yeah, like it's a children's book about Count Alucard, the vegetarian vampire and the hijinks he gets up to. So in this one he comes to the UK uh, and he gets spotted going through customs and then like these customs men follow him and it's just the adventures that sort of follow off the back of that. Probably a 3.5 out of 5, it was okay, um, but it did make me very nostalgic because I used to love this series as a kid, even though I don't think I'd actually read this one. And then we have uh, the Terry Pratchett Diary by Terry Pratchett and Friends, aided and abetted by the Discord Emporium. Now this is like literally a diary, you could keep your appointments in it, but it's written in such a way uh, and designed in such a way that you could use it for any year, so it's not one of those that's going to go like immediately out of date as soon as, you, uh, as soon as you use it. But also what's cool is that as well as having like little quotes throughout it, it also has some like non-fiction pieces where various people, you know, talk about Pratchett, so like Neil Gaiman's in here, there's like illustrations and all that kind of stuff. So as a Pratchett fan, it was just, you know, one I had to tick off and one I had to read off and I'm very glad I did it. I gave it a four out of five and think it's definitely a must have for any Pratchett collector. I don't know if I'd ever actually use it as a diary, but, but hey ho. So, that is where we're at, and on that note, as it's like quarter to, eight, quarter to 12 at night, and it's a Sunday, I'm gonna love you and leave you for this week's reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more. Hit that like button as well, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, Bye bye